Why don't we kind of backtrack a little bit, Alex? And I think it's helpful. You know, it's like we talked about like, hey, we really love macro tracking. (laughs) Here's all these benefits and, and this and that. Who would you say that tracking your macros might not be a good fit for? Um, I mean, just the obvious, right? Like if someone is coming from a history of, you know, having disordered eating patterns and things like that, I would not necessarily suggest that person to track their food in that way where they're just like kind of, you know, fixating on the quantity or the amounts of things right? that, like, you know, like that kind of situation. Um, I think, again, it just depends on the person's goals. Um, you know, if you're, if you're just really wanting to improve like the quality of your food, right? I don't think you need to necessarily start off with looking at the quantity. Like, I didn't, I mean, I think most people start kind of with that, that, you know, if, again, if you're, if you're eating a very standard American diet or just, you know, very poor, nutritionally poor diet, you can still make a lot of progress without even just like tracking the quantity of things and just changing actually what you eat, right? And I think once you get, there is a point where you will exhaust that though. And I think that's where, that's where I think where, and I hear this a lot. It's like, man, I'm eating clean and I'm eating good, and but I'm not seeing any more progress. I think that's where you got to think about like, hey, I need to start paying attention, like the quantity of what I'm, what I'm eating as opposed to just the quality. And I think it's important too, because it's like, again, I came from the background of disordered eating and eating restriction. And for me, you know, tracking my macros was actually life-changing. And, I've actually and certainly, heard the, yeah. you know, it, it, it's, yeah. it's hard because it totally goes both ways. Both and ways, so yeah. it, I think it's, I think your, your introduction to that is very important where it's just like, hey, this may not be a good fit, but also, you know, it's like, I think at the end of the day for so many things, it's like, we just got to try it out and see, you know, what fits, what doesn't. Cause it's like, again, if I, if I talked about my parents, well, like my mom is 68, my dad's 74. Like they're probably, they can barely use their iPhone, (laughs) let Mm -hmm. alone get into an app. Right. So that was actually something I was going to throw on the list is it's like, um, obviously, if we're not super swabby, <laughs> you know, or savvy, excuse me, with you know, f- with technology and stuff, it's like, well, yeah, like tracking your macros that way uh, also might be hard. So, you know, if you are somebody that that's like maybe we're you know 50, 60, 70 and beyond, it's like also this. Hey, might my not mom be a tracks good though. She, I yeah. didn't think she would ever <laughs> get into it, like literally. But and I, she drug her feet for a long time. And I kept being like, Mom, why don't you track your food? And of course, she's not going to listen to me because I'm her son. But she <laughs> hired some people and she finally started doing it. And she tracks her food now. She tracks food like pretty much almost every day. So Your mom's the goat, though. Uh, we got to get her on the show. People, wanna, <laughs> yes. people also want to people also wanna, wanna hear from her. So, Dude. Well, yeah. for people that don't know, uh, so Alex's mom actually follows our Paragon workouts. So it is so bomb. Like last Christmas, uh, I actually went to Memphis with Alex. And so it's like, we all went to Lifetime together and like <laughs> his mom was literally out benching me. And I was just like, damn, like get it. Cause she's what, like 60, 63, she's 60, 64? Yeah. She's 60, yeah. Uh, damn, I don't know my mom's. <laughs> she was born in 59. So okay, yeah, she's yeah. 64. She's 64. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but so, it's like, yeah. uh, you know, so with all of this, just know, um, I think that was actually a really great question I had on Instagram the other day was like, somebody had asked, like, is there a certain age at which it's just not, you know, like we we shouldn't be doing these things. And it's like, uh, if you've never seen the Instagram account, I believe the handle is train with Joan, but basically mm-hmm. she's in her seventies. And so she shows over the course of like the past six or seven years, she went from super overweight, obese to like, like she's jacked and it's so awesome. Like she's apparently like put out a book, put out training programs. And it, it really is just so cool because again, it's like, this testament of like, there is, there isn't a limit, you know, it's like you can look bomb and you can get strong and you can build a bomb physique and, and all of this stuff, like age doesn't discriminate in that way, you know, kind of like how a lot of people say. So, um, yeah, I'd be so stoked to have her on because she, she's just such a baddie. Yeah. Should we spend the last little bit talking about how to actually 
you know, flex for track. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How to do the thing. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> so I think with uh, talking about like tracking your macros, again, it's like I would recommend starting that from a place of eating at maintenance. I wouldn't recommend your first go around with tracking your macros also being tag teamed with <laughs> dieting. And, and the reason for that, right, is it's like, you got to master the skills on how to do the things so we can't turn around and be like, I'm going to learn this new thing and I'm going to try to eat less and I'm going to be sad and hungry and I'm playing Tetris. It's like, let it be easy is how nutrition always should be. Uh, So start with, you know, tracking your macros while at maintenance calories. And so basically maintenance just means, you know, how many calories you need to eat in a day to sustain exactly what you're doing. So how many calories you need to support your lifestyle, your activity, your time at the gym without seeing any changes in your body weight, uh, you know, how much fat, how much muscle tissue, stuff like that. 